What's up, party people? Hello. Happy Wednesday. Wednesday. What's up? How are you guys? Um, so you can, you guys can see we're playing Visage. 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 Again. We don't have very much left. We have hardly any of the game left, to be honest. <laughs> like, there's not a lot left. I'm really scared, though. I'm so scared. And I have a theory. I have a theory about how the game has progressed and where we are now with the game. Kind of like what I think the storyline is. Because um, it, it was very confusing to me at first, but I think I got it. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I don't know if- I, I don't think we'll be doing anything after. I don't know how long it's going to take to finish the game. So it could be a short stream, could be a long stream. I really don't know. Um, but if it's a short stream, then it- I'm, I'm not going to play something after because I have things that I need to do. Because I woke up late today, so my apologies in advance if it's a short stream. You're glad you made it for the start of stream. Yeah, we're we're just we're just getting into it. <laughs> so my theory, I I don't know which episodes people have watched me play or watched other people play, but there was three episodes. The first one was Lucy, Alice, Lucy, the child. Then the second one was Dolores, um, the old lady with the baby, and the third one was Raken. The guy who went to like the medical center is still here. So then the fourth chapter is our own chapter. So Dwayne, I think her name's Dwayne. Um, but I, I made a connection. So in Raiken's chapter at the very beginning, when he first fired the gun, the thing he was firing at is the same thing that is trying to kill me. So, I've kind of, since I realized that it's the same thing in two chapters, I, I think it's been the same thing in every chapter. I think it's just one, like, ghost demon thing. Um, so, like, the first one with Lucy, the child, it was that, like, doll-looking thing, like the, the black shadow with the doll kind of face on it. So I think that's what it originally started as, because it wasn't something that was able to really control things or, or show up. Like, because if you notice at the very end when Lucy was like, you know, in the bathtub, it was outside. So I don't think it was something that could physically touch Lucy. I think it, that was its beginning stage of like being an evil spirit. So then in the second chapter was Dolores, and we didn't see anything besides Dolores and her husband as like kind of ghosts and things. But I think, carrying on from that, I think it was the same thing that might have altered their mindset. But then for Raiken, I think that's when it managed to like form a body, and that's the thing that we're seeing now. So I think it was the same like spirit throughout. I don't know if I did the best way to explain it, but that's my theory. I think it's just the same the same guy. And he was collecting power over the years of the different people living in the house. And now it's on to me and he he is trying to kill me. Like Raken just saw him like once and then he was at like the hospital and it was the other people with the the eyeless faces. But I think that was just his own perception of maybe actual people. Um, so I, I think, yeah, I just, I think it was maybe the same. Hopefully we get like an explanation. I might have to Google some theories here once we finish it. But yeah, that's what I'm currently thinking. I think it was the same spirit that was collecting power. And now it's super powerful and it's trying to kill us. And by trying to kill us, I mean... It literally kills me every time I load into the game. <laughs> I did things in the wrong order, I think. The fear of being live after the stream. <laughs> Listen, that's a real fear for streamers. 
completely disconnected your camera just in case. I actually used to do that too. After every stream, I would unplug my, my camera. <laughs> just, but like now I, I can't really do that. Though I just make sure I'm not <laughs> still streaming. Donut Man is after you too. Okay, dude looks like a donut in a way that he's like slimy, like a glazed donut. So yeah, he's uh, kind of looks like a donut. All slimy and ed edible. Your theory was completely wrong when you played this game? Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. What was your theory? Okay, you guys can see this, yeah. So, um, I forget where we're at, but he's gonna come up and kill us in like a moment. My sanity's decreasing fast. <laughs> I think there's certain parts that I'm not supposed to walk by. I think that's why I keep getting killed. He's here, he's by me, he's right beside me. But I think... I think there's certain areas I'm not supposed to go to. You can kill me in here. <laughs> I need to get my my walkthrough back up. <laughs> uh, final chapter. Visage. And yes, I'm using a walkthrough. It's way too hard not to. Just trying to get the mirror mask. I would tell you mine, but I don't want to spoil for you in case you think the same as me as the story progresses. Okay. Sure. Do I have all the videotapes? I've watched... Oh, it's gonna be hard to watch them now. But it's fine, I've already watched all of them. I think... was that maybe my issue? Um... But we did the prison. The prison videotape. Which we did last time I played, and I think that's what messed me up. I think this guy only starts chasing me after I do that part, because he was there in that area for the prison stuff. That was the first time I had witnessed him. So I think I was supposed to do other things first, and I think that's why I'm having such a hard time with the game now. So where do we need to go? There's, we did the shopping cart already. But we didn't do... Basement boiler room? Left of TV and basement. Same room that the tape is found. Okay, so I... Okay. I think we can do this one. I'm just using this to find out where I have to go. Um because I can't watch the tapes again, because I will be killed. <laughs> so that's what I'm using the walkthrough for. Numpty, welcome in. It is a spooky game. Yes, that is why Pikachu is helping us. But welcome in. How are you doing? Okay, we might die like right away. I don't think I even have... This is what we have to do. I think. Honestly, I don't know. Said this room. Maybe it was supposed to be a different. A different room? I think he comes out of these things. Like, I think if I walk by one of those, I just die, don't I? Maybe I don't. Oh, it's this one. Drop it. Wait, this is what I'm supposed to be on. What? There's 
a vent somewhere that I'm supposed to. Oh, he's gonna kill me. We're dead. We are dead. Does he just like pop up? Let's let's see if he just pops up. Because I actually don't know. I think he chases me. Been okay. PCR test hoping comes back negative and coughing since exits. Oh no! Yeah, I hope it comes back negative. And I hope your cough gets better. I've been I've been nervous about COVID. I've I've been so nervous. <laughs> I, um, like, woke up with a, a kind of dry throat this morning, and I was like, well, this afternoon, and I was like, better not be COVID. Pretty sure it's because it's dry outside, but I've gotten to the point where I'm just terrified <laughs> that I'm going to get it. It's like, I feel like it's pretty inevitable at this point. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a pessimist. The background noise gives you the creeps. Same. Oh, he's here. Close the door on me. But yeah, I... <laughs> if, if you guys want, I can turn the game volume down on your guys' end. Um, because I have it pretty low for myself. Because I'm scared. Oh, it shows this... Oh, so it's not this room. <laughs> eee, no, 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 that got bigger. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, he's, oh, no. Oh, gosh, I can't see anything. This is the one I'm supposed to get on. Maybe. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to... Maybe I have to watch the game. Maybe I didn't watch it all the way through. I think that's why it's not working. Because that's the one I have to stand on. And then I have to go to that other room. Oh, man. It's okay. The, the sounds? All right. They, they need a cello lesson, though. They do. <laughs> okay. Um, We're going to... Try and get back up to the living room, I guess. Super fun and not at all terrifying thing to have to do. Just, you know, through here, up here. Ah! <laughs> oh, he's here already? You're kidding. What if I run this way? What if I go the opposite way from what he's expecting me to go? Those gooey parts on the wall. I think he jumps out of them. I'm supposed to cover them. But I can't cover them. Because he kills me before I can get the things. And the game is not saving. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All because I did the prison part first, I think. But I, I don't have any, any auto saves I can go back to. All right. This is taking a lot of of guts on my part. What happens if I just stand here under the light? Oh, hey, there's part on the ceiling. Ew. I don't like that. What if I like lock him out of here? You can't come in. I need to watch the greed videotape. He's here. Oh, it's saved! Cool. Did I just mess it up? Okay. 
we're not gonna go for this one. Let me find another one to go for. Um, indifference? Oh, this is finding the frames. That's what I, what I want to do. Because then you stop him from... I think you stop him from... I don't know. Oh, yeah, there is space. The thing is, is I thought I watched them all. Like, I gathered all of them and watched all of them, but I don't think I watched them all to the end. Which is why some of the prompts aren't working. But it's just hard because he kills me every two seconds. Like, I thought... I thought... Our girl Dolores was bad for, um, for spawn camping, but no, it's this guy. He's the ultimate spawn camper. I need to collect these frames. I only know where one is. <laughs> like, I just... I, I want the game to save frequently so that I don't lose progress or items, but it's not going to. And because it only saves at certain points. I don't think there's any frames in here. There might be some in the basement. If I keep moving, I... I'm hoping he can't get me. Can't use that there, what? What do you mean I can't use that there? Oh! They have to be used on certain ones? Can I try this again? No. Oh, he's here. He's here. Let me stand here for my inevitable death. Not sure how it works. Start one tape, you have to complete that one before moving on to the next. Yeah, I don't know. Because I finished the prison. The prison tape. And that's all I've done. I've done negligence and I did prison and now I'm here. Unless there's something to the prison one that I missed? I just need to collect the frame, so I'm gonna have to use this walkthrough to find them. But dude is right here, I think. Hide in the freezer? Unfortunately, I can't jump in there. Fresh grounds. Some salt. Uh, if you can find some frames by listening to them. I don't know. Oh, I do have pills. I just wasted them. Oh, that got bigger. Oh, he's right there! <laughs> Did you guys see him? <laughs> Why was he standing like that? Standing like that. <laughs> He's right there. This is so sad. <laughs> I 
want the brain to go away. The brain's my issue. Okay, there's frame in here somewhere. Up in the closet to the right of the bed. Well, if only I could see. But unfortunately... The right of oh right here. No, that's a book. If I just have a lighter, he can't harm me. Oh this one. The right Okay, got to. Pause again. Okay. Uh right of the bed. Another one in the kitchen corridor. Go down the corridor near the mirror door. Open. Go to the left of the cat book. Oh! Above the potted plant. Okay, I know where this is. I know how to get there. I even know how it's trying to get me to get there. He is right there. Oh, there's one here too? On the ground? Or is that just blood from something else? Is that blood from a different chapter? It's one right there, he better not pop out of it. Okay, it's right here. Pause. <laughs> There's no way I could find these all myself. Let me just put it that way. I got the one from the progress room. Okay, basement. Uh, via stairs. door at the bottom of the stairs and turn left, step into the freezer room to the right of the TV area, walk up to the- oh, I knew there was one in there but I thought it was in the freezer. So, it's not. Um, this is where I need to be. Here. E, he's here. Dude is here. Oh, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. E, I saw him. I think I saw him. And there's one in here somewhere. Where is it at? Walk up to the right wall. Look along the wooden framework next to the ceiling above the freezer. How is anyone supposed to find that? It's right there. How was I supposed to find that? Okay, the last one. Uh, step into the power room with the breaker switch. This room to the right is a step up the freezer room. Take the strange- oh, there's two more. I'm only on four. Take the corrected the head of the trash bags. Okay, I guess- I guess we'll find it. Did I? I don't think I paused that time. Oh, no, 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 no! No, I am out of here. I am out of here. Uh-uh, he can't get me. He can't get me if I- I say he can't. He's no ah, no, 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 he's right there, he's right there, he's right there. He pops out of those things, right? Like, I'm not completely- oh, he's gonna be right there. You're kidding, I can't get through here? I hate this. I hate this so much. Okay. I keep going out of the wrong door. <laughs> it's fine. Keeps him guessing. Keep him on his toes. Which which door am I gonna come out of? I don't know. Don't close that on me. I need in there. Wait, this is not the one I need in. Oh, that's gone. What? 
Oh, no, it's the other door. <laughs> it's the other wall. Um, okay. This one's supposed to be here. He is right beside me, I think. It's okay, it's really not, but I don't know where I'm supposed to look anyway. Oh, right here. Pause. <laughs> Last one. locker where your key items walk off to. Back corner, you'll come to a mirror on the wall. Look at the crate below. I can make it there. I can make it there without dying. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. Nico, welcome in. How are you? Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to do. That's that's the goal. The, the issue oh. the issue is this guy this guy's a real a real prankster I'm just okay I found them all what do I do with them now oh man <laughs> so, <laughs> so scared you're good I'm glad to hear that I did have a great holiday thank you how was yours stairs that go up to the kitchen stairway. Before, before getting on the stairs, move over to the wall to the right of the bottom of the stairs. Marks on the wall where some frames should go. Oh! Okay. They just all go in the same area was good basically the same as every year <laughs> I feel that I feel that I don't really do anything special for the holiday but um I ate lots of good food that's that's my main goal for holidays just eating good food Alright, we got a new place to go through. Hopefully. Hopefully, our guy doesn't follow us here. Am I walking on glass? Hopefully, this fixes the lights for the entire house. Oh, it's pills? Oh, am I just supposed to eat all the pills? So that all of the chains come off? Oh, beer cans, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> definitely, definitely beer cans. I hope there wasn't an order I had to eat these in. I don't think so, I just need to eat them, right? Make all the chains fall? This is so hard to pick it up. Alright, last one. Let me out of here. I have to the rest of you to finish the game tonight. Thank you! Thanks for the raid earlier too, I really appreciate it. You rest well. Oh, there's multiple doors? Oh, they're fake doors. Funny. Oh, there, there's pills behind that one. So funny. I have to like face all of my. Hey, it's water. It's a, a lovely painter. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know what that noise was, but I hate it. 
Hatred, guilt, hatred, guilt, suffering, grief, hatred, sorry, anxiety, depression, hatred, sorry. The hunter's here. Oh, and Jinx is still here too. Hunter is a grumpy boy lately. Comes and meows for attention. Just to get mad. Why? I think Jinx is just laying in her bed. Yeah. All cute and adorable. Who's looking at you? Hi there. No, you're a cat lover when you pause a scary game to pet a cat. I didn't get to pet him though. Did I go grab him? Pauses game, Hunter Fun pauses game for me. <laughs> I would cry. I would absolutely cry. Okay, resume. Oh, I'm in a box. I'm gonna like wake up, aren't I? We're in Dark Souls now. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Oh no, it's the eyeless guys. There are other people that are suffering, right? We're all here together. Oh, look at that. We're all gathering to go inside the mouth of Rock Guy, who has a mushroom growing out of his head. This one's the scariest chapter. I. Yeah, I agree. Is that guy gonna chase me? No, he's just lost. I agree. I've... Like, before it was just, like, jump scares that were getting me. Now I'm actually scared scared. Like, the, the model of the guy is creepy. I need both hands. How do I... How do I hold something? I don't want to drop it, I just want to hold it. Put it in my bag. Oh, I lost it. My only source of light. And I- and I lost it. Okay. I have no other lighters, but it's fine. Oh hey, that's a tongue. Right? That thing that's moving? Is someone on a... a boat just watching a movie? Should we go say hi? Oh, he's on a chair! Oh, is that me? 
that me how I'm an alcoholic that just watches TV and can't even read a bedtime story to my poor daughter? Are these all me, maybe? Like, passing out from drinking too much? And just crying in agony every day? It's, it's close to home. <laughs> I'm assuming this is her. Oh, that one's getting shot. Okay, never mind. That's not passing out. That's dying. up here, shall we? Oh, just hanging out in the middle of the stairs. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Like, this entire place. Like, are those hands? Are those weird tentacles? I don't know. Oh hey, we got a TV! Oh, I can't watch it though. Or can I? No. Oh, Dwayne! Welcome oh. to your domain! I was waiting for you in What is my domain? What? You tell me this isn't your yeah, domain? Yeah, it is. It's totally my domain. Nonsense! It's the fruit Hydrogen of your hard labor! Hydrogen, welcome in! I Can't did have a great holiday season, thank you. How their is yours? Time here? It's all thanks to you they have this newfound home! How fulfilled they all seem! Some of them might look a little... lost, I concur. But what of it? They have a place to be for all of eternity! How delightful for them, courtesy of Dwayne I don't know Anderson. how this guy fits into everything. <laughs> the dead will whisper tales of your achievements, and you will be remembered forever. Now, now, up you go, chap. Go have a look at your masterpiece. Uh, not working out as intended. You're very sick and single. Oh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you get better soon. Um, and I hope things get better in general. I didn't account for that masked guy for my theory. So now I, I, I don't know, is that guy like in my head maybe? Like maybe he's not part of what's been happening in this house forever? Maybe he's just part of me. You like the atmosphere on this game? <laughs> I don't. This is a scary game. I'm way too scared for this. Oh, am I gonna burn a portrait of- I'm assuming that's supposed to be my wife and I? Am I gonna burn it? Okay, good. Oh, am I remembering that I'm married? Did I forget that I had a had a wife? I thought she was away on a business trip, but did she actually leave us? Because we don't have the daughter either. Oh, no, it's her friend. Please talk to me. I love you, Dwayne. I want to help you. First the alcohol and now this? Who prescribed you this and why? Uh, I want to know so I can help you through it. Why is she, like... Are you slowly going insane, Dwayne? Should we be worried because we are? I don't think... Recently, I think part of this is Claire's fault. She's not going at this the right way. Are you thinking of... You want to run from so bad that you drink? 
drug yourself every day. Oh my gosh, taking drugs is not... Like, if you're prescribed drugs for something, that's not a bad thing. You don't tell someone that's taking, like, blood pressure medication, like... I could help you with that, you know? Something like that. I'm only with you because you have money. It's probably blood money, but I don't care. I don't care about you. If you, you want to die, die, I'll happily oblige. Do you want a rope? Want me to kick the bucket? Life would be so much easier without your mopey face around, you delusional fuck. Want me to stab you with seven knives? Want me to rip the jaw off your ugly face? How about I break both your legs and leave you to rot in a cellar? You're a disgrace. People despise you. I despise you. Your children despise you. You're horrified. Children, we only had one child. You should die. You know what? Forget it. I, don't I think help this you is die. in his head. Do it yourself. I, think I will help you into release. Kill yourself by yourself alone. I think this is what he's thinking because she was young. So I think. Like, to be fair, she did not help at all. <laughs> she should not be yelling the way she is. Uh, but I think he got, like, the wrong impression, maybe? Because it seems like she was still with him, because I thought she was on a business trip. Like, he had notes of, like, the keys are in your pockets in the dryer or whatever, like, at the beginning of the game. If anyone remembers. Vexer, welcome in. What's up? I... I am scared. Can I do this for now? Oh, the vent is right there! Oh my gosh. I was clicking the wrong area. This is the vent. Not a very good stool if it literally breaks into pieces like that. Thing we have another stool in here as long as our guy doesn't come you know murder me I need something to light the passage I had to drop my thing though He's right here. I think. Can I put a lighter in here, maybe? There's a candle. Oh, there's a lighter. Good. Cool. You got two puppies yesterday? Wait, really? What? What the heck? That seems kind of random, but I don't know. I don't know. What are their names? Do they have names? What kind of puppies? Something tells me this vent does not match up with the actual layout of the house. below? Am I supposed to sign? Okay, I'm supposed to sign it, I guess. Let's sign your name. I hope he just like prints out Dwayne in like capital letters. 
my nine, the nine things I'm signing are basically I don't give a. <laughs> says puck. <laughs> okay, cool. And our contract. We have a, a fun crow. I don't know what part of the. Um, oh, hey, there's that picture from earlier. I'm supposed to go through here. I, I want to try and say that word, but I think I'm gonna butcher it. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it. I'm totally gonna butcher it. Major and Maurice, two brothers. Do do like guy dogs get along with each other? Because I know you're not supposed to have like two like male cats unless you have like a lot of female cats. <laughs> but is it okay for dogs? <laughs> Rip bird. Rip me. See what they did to. Pretty rude if you ask me. Oh, I, just, I, I did not mean to take those pills. No, oh, they're empty. I don't know how many things you get to have with each. Okay. Okay, I need to see what we have to do next. Ah, we did that. Did that one? Pride? Okay, I have not done pride. We have done prison though. Not done affliction. Uh, they play fight a lot, but they same same nest. <laughs> Let's stay together and sleep right next to each other. That's nice. I think I have like one or two photos of Hunter and Jinx sleeping next to each other when they were like under a year old. Never happened since. <laughs> oh, Pride puts us on a timer. Oh, just for this part, okay. Crap door. In a room below the trap door after watching tape, go to the front door area in front of the stairs. They put the glass on it. Take the Omega key. But I already did that part. Go into the garage down the stairs at the end of the corridor directly ahead. Go up the stairs to the top floor of the garage. Before going through the door at the top of the stairs. Go into the space beside the door. Past the stack of boxes and suitcases. All red toolbox. Grab toolbox. Move it to the left and crawl down into the hole in the wall. Oh, we were in there before for like the Laris's chapter. Not because we needed to be, just because I was for some reason. We're about to die though, I think. If I just keep moving, we'll be fine. Gotta keep moving. can't get me if I don't stop. shown in the video in the basement let's keep the door to the right first floor I'll take you down to the corridor and get a mannequin 
Her door's on the floor in the space between some shelves across from the blue tarp. Oh, I don't think I've ever been through there. Secret stash where he keeps the hentai? Yes. That's actually the whole reason that all of this is happening. He just has a hentai addiction, has to hide it. Just right there. We're on a timer with this one. We're almost done though. I think. I hope. I don't know how much more I can take. It's not like as scary when the guy's not going after me. Way to go. Apparently we have an entire hospital below our our Oh, what am I supposed to do here though? I don't want to use the walkthrough for everything. I thought I had a question mark thing pop up. Oh, I did. For these. periodic table, make sure it's correct. You got hydrogen and helium and lithium beryllium. I don't remember how to say this one. We're on. I can't- oh man. Ah, we're gonna die. <laughs> I was trying to sing the song. I hope you guys know what song I'm talking about, but I messed it up. I forgot what we're on was. door ahead of you. Look to the right and get up on the counter. Grab the stool. Oh. That's why I could mess around with the stool. Oh crap, I don't want to take this. No, I'm wasting my stuff. How do I put my stuff away? Oh, like that. Same stool? Am I, am I double double dipping with the stool? No. Oh, he can just open it? <laughs> oh, I just wasted too much time.
destroy the periodic table, it's cursed. Wouldn't that be funny if that's what I'm supposed to do? Oh hey! That's what I'm supposed to do! <laughs> Did you notice this? Am I dead? Did I die? Yeah. Just tell me I can't die in here. Please tell me there's fresh air in here. It doesn't look like there is, but please tell me this is fresh air. I don't like this. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, here we go. The exit. Link into the gutter in Dark Souls 2 starts. We were already in Dark Souls earlier, though. Okay, so we're in... Oh, am I supposed to follow the feet? I don't want to follow the feet. are scary. What? The feet just stop? Oh, I'm supposed to go back here. Wiki feet investigation. <laughs> right. We're getting closer to the end. It's so exciting. Okay, pause. Where do we go from here? Prison, which we've already done. And then affliction. Must have the crowbar. I don't think I have. Do I have a crowbar? Like, I'm able to see all of my things from the past. Oh, I do! Right, it's from Dolores' chapter. When we open that, that window. supposed to go then? You also want to have a lighter with you. But I can- can I hold both? Speed running visage? Well, I'm scared. I'm scared and I just want to see what- what's at the end because I want to see if my- my, um, theory is right. Those are the floorboards I'm supposed to use it on. Oh, here we go. 
Let me like do this quicker. <laughs> Like, does he- does he not realize that the thing is still after him? Okay. We're doing a lot of stuff underground. Also, this is right above- This shouldn't exist, because the basement exists. If we're prying up floorboards, we're not gonna fall into freaking fallout. Like this this shouldn't be a thing that exists. I don't know where I'm supposed to go either. Oh, I have to raise that. Okay, well there's like a lot of buttons everywhere. I'm sure pressing any of them will do what I need it to do, right? Can't even spin these. go all the way back down. <laughs> Hideous. The lighter is nearly empty. I don't even need to have it on. I don't- <laughs> I kind of forgot that I had it on. guys near us or if this music just plays whenever now. I hope we can't die here. Not fair. <laughs> go through that door, right? No reason I should go up on the the passings overhead. I don't think I need to. Oh, do I need a card? Oh no. I do have to go up here. find a card in the cafeteria. Maybe I'm in a bunker and this is actually the LSD trials they did on soldiers. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is real life right now. Dwayne has not actually gotten married. He has not had a kid. It's actually a test experiment. And it's a successful test so far. I'm just having a bad trip. I swear if the card is not in here when there's this many lockers. Here we go. Okay, so it's locked. 
Oh, am I supposed to find the key on the other side? I find the key on the other side to come get the card on this side. Don't tell me that's what it is. Do I just have like, so I know I have bad perception skills. Like I'm just not perceptive. Like let's, let's remember I've never seen like a rat in the wild. It's <laughs> so, like I'm aware that I'm not that perceptive. I like to think that I'd be a bit better in, like, video games. Like, where would it be? Oh. There's no reason to go that way right now? What do you mean? Oh, here we go. <gasps> no! No, he can get me here! <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> no, look at that slimy bot! Mm -mm. Nope, you're not getting me! Oh, I can see his feet! His little feet sees. Oh, he closed the door. Of course, he closed the door. Oh, oh, I get it. Mm -mm, we have to climb out of the... We have to climb out now. I can't get out the door. Oh, what a... What a terrible game. <laughs> All of that was meant to happen. Evasion 1000. <laughs> I was fearing for my life there. I was so scared. But haha, he locked himself in there. If I like push that open, he was standing right there waiting for me. <laughs> That'd be absolutely terrifying. One should make a movie like that. Ghost like gets you on one side, so you crawl through a vent. Boom. It's on the other side too because it knows the layout of the freaking building. <laughs> it's a ghost so it can travel through walls or like a demon so it can just appear whenever it wants. be here too. Like that better just have been a thing for that one room. That room and that room only. Head for a set of vent. What, <laughs> what other options do you have though? As someone who has never crawled in a vent before, what, what are the other options if you go through a vent head first? Which is like when you're crawling through a vent, your head's gonna be in front of you. You're not gonna crawl backwards, right? So what other options do you have? If you're going, like normally vents would be down, right? But if it's not, you don't really have any other options. All right, let's see what's in this well. Oh, there's an apple. Are we gonna reach for it? Or are we just gonna jump down there? Are we jumping down without taking the apple? But what about the apple? Fight it. Fight it without taking it off the the branch. Branch. Got an apple though. So first, <laughs> I'm so sorry if that made a noise. Oh, what the heck? Why did it do that? 
We touched it and it died? We have the opposite of the Midas touch? Why gold? Or food? Not like all was rotten apple that we dropped down the well. And we're surrounded by oil? Are we becoming the guy that's chasing? No! Oh, gosh, that's a jump scare. <laughs> oh! But this- no, this isn't greed. This is affliction. This one's affliction. Greed was... I don't know which one it was. Oh, greed was the other event. That we signed away our rights of we will not give an F. Dead bodies everywhere. Oh! The apple turned into that guy! He pulled us down! That guy was birthed from an apple! You heard of Adam and Eve? They ate the apple. The reason they weren't supposed to eat it is because it would birth this guy! I don't, I don't actually know how it goes, the story. What have we fall out of? Little cocoon? Oh, the boiler! We fell out of the boiler? <laughs> Why were we in there? Oh, there's our last thing that we need, though. The game could not save. That means we're gonna die as soon as we get out of here. That's what that means. Technically, I'm not wrong. <laughs> Mirror Mask Master! I just got that achievement. We're about to die. We're about to die. It was nice knowing you all. Cool. Not dead yet. I think we need to go back up to our progress room. I think that's how we end, end all of this. Oh, hey, that's really cool of you to just shut that door that I didn't want to go into. Are we putting the mask on? Looking up at our boy, Jesuis. On our face, the mask goes. We don't want COVID. What's with the color change? normal? The sun's shining through. We have different types of tea. Our furniture is back. What's in this room though? That's so creepy in there. Wait, am I about to go welcome back my wife? Oh! Why are- Why are- First- First reaction? I just got an achievement. What was that? Try to leave via the front door. <laughs> Why are all the keys there? Can't go upstairs? I have to go in the basement? Why? Thank you so much for the follow, welcome in! <laughs> Am I supposed to go this way? I 
I can't go that way. What? Where am I supposed to go? In before what, Vexer? On like Dio from JoJo's. Uh, that door has like been open once, I believe. In this entire thing. Am I supposed to go through the garage? No. I'm so confused. I can't leave through the front door. There's like pink lights on it. Okay, it's just not it. Ah! Oh, thank you so we're much for the one hundred bits. Bet. No, we ain't gonna take bet. <laughs> we're not gonna take bet anymore. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. How are you, Bob? Welcome in. Am I supposed to clean up, maybe? Cleaning simulator? Put the beer cans in a box? <laughs> I thought I was supposed to go to the basement. Like, that's where it's leading me. here they go this way but then am I supposed to jump over this somehow okay <laughs> I actually need to see what I need to do because I don't know Oh, this door. There's fresh paint. I can destroy the wall because there is fresh paint. That is the only reason why I can destroy it. door? Could this be the reason for everything? Oh. Mm. We just get 
bright light. Oh, I have two kids? Oh, right, I do have two kids. So it was another bedroom. Right, he's just older. Right, I do have children, not just child. Sorry, you can't hear the music anymore. Bad ending usage? There's a bad ending? Okay. What's next? I don't know. I was just gonna play usage and once we finish this, be done, but... I'm not ready to stop streaming. But I don't have very many things installed. We could do... House Clipper. <laughs> I've become really good at making really nice, uh, tiny houses and house flipper. I remodeled a really tiny one and got a lot of money for it on the, on the game. It's really loud still. That's why games are like movies. They're loud at some points and not loud at others. And it sucks because it's so hard to regulate the volume when you have to be careful about it. I hope that's better now. So there was a- Oh, you didn't catch anything I said? <laughs> oh, I was talking about maybe playing House Flipper, because I'm not ready for stream to be over. <laughs> Alright, but before that, I'm gonna quit out of the game. I want to read about the endings. Let me bring up some, some music. So there's a void ending. We got the good ending, then there's a void ending, which is the alternate ending they can achieve if you find one of the secrets of the house's basement. Oh, thank you so much for gifting a sub to the community. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And Fuji Pei, enjoy the sharky emotes. Thank you so much, Bob. Um, so I guess that was a a secret in the basement it has multiple endings, but how many endings? Uh. Wait. <laughs> when you click on multiple endings on this website, it brings you to Resident Evil 8. I was very confused for a moment. The game the player explores the house in which several atrocities have happened. Um, in one secret alternate ending, players will need to purposely allow their character to die. 
So, achieve the void alternate ending. To get the void ending, players will still need to make their way to the basement of the house at the bottom of the stairs. When they enter the finished basement, they'll notice a haphazardly painted wall. They'll need to destroy the wall by interacting with it. They won't, however, need to have any particular tools on them to do so. Once the wall's been destroyed, the player will find a door to another secret room. Good idea to have to save the game here in a separate slot so you can return after and experience the other ending. Opening the door will reveal some stairs to the player to go down. Enter the room at the bottom. Player will recognize this room from the game's introduction. In the center of the room, they'll see a table with a revolver. The player will need to pick up the revolver, turn it around the camera, and shoot themselves in the head. In a flash, they'll see the location of one of the seven VHS tapes they need to collect to achieve the standard ending. Oh, wait! You do this before... okay. So this is supposed to happen before you get the actual ending. Okay, that's a thing that I can't even do because it's like earlier in the game. Okay, visage explained. So my idea was that it was the same like spirit every time, but I don't know if that's actually the truth. I just want to find... There's a reddit. Okay, Lucy's friend is possibly the main antagonist of the game. I think it's all the same. I think... I think it's all one... demon. Okay, let's see what this reddit has to say, because there's not really anything that explains it. Dwayne was a scientist working for the CIA during... <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> wait! <laughs> Cannon <of> fodder. <laughs> you might be right. Okay, this one person says, Brin was a scientist working for the CAA during MK Ultra. They made LSD and administered it to people with mental illnesses at psych wards throughout the 50s and 60s. This is confirmed on a timesheet in the lab during the Pride videotape. Lucy died in 1961 after treatment worsened her condition. Dolores, in 1962, after treatment worsened her condition, and Raken, in 1965, became paranoid that he was being watched. Dwayne likely moved to the house as it was closer to his work, but ended up in a deep depression, killing himself and his family due to guilt of what he was involved in. And during the events of the game, he's trapped in a purgatory. He's a spirit, hence why Dwayne has no reflection in the mirrors and no body, and why everything he moves or holds just seems to float in midair. <laughs> I never questioned why there was no hands. I didn't think about that. Because normally in games, you, th when you're holding something, you can see a hand. And that makes a lot of sense. So they were, there was no actual ghosts or anything. But then why did they use the same model for Raiken and Dwayne? Someone else says it's really up to the player to piece together the entire story. I have a lot of theories as to what went on with Dwayne in the house. As far as I'm coming to understand, Dwayne is one of the many spectres? Spectres? I don't know what that word is. That the house itself collected over the years. I've often thought about what we can leave behind imprints and what effect that we would have on locations like our houses. The Grudge made me think of that, which I believe the Visage devs actually cite as one of their main influences. So I think the house is the site of tremendous pain and gruesome death, and Dwayne, for some reason or another, lives there and succumbs to killing himself and his family because of the direct influence of the house, or he's just one link in a long chain of despair and anguish. Maybe the entity in Lucy's friend is the progenitor of it all, given how that takes place in the 60s. But if so, I think there are more references to, it, to that entity being around in other chapters. I think it's all connected by living in the house. I- okay, that one is on par with what I thought. Because I thought... That one thing in Lucy's chapter, since that's the first chapter, I thought it was evolving over time. 
Okay, let's see if we can find something else. Okay, this one, this person does a very long thing, so I'm gonna read it. This is from some guy on Reddit. It's a year old. Shout out to this guy. Uh, so let me start by saying one thing. This is gonna be what I know about Visage and mostly with proof. If it doesn't have any evidence to back it up, I will say so. So Lucy. First character we see is Lucy, the young girl who's apparently been harassed and manipulated by what she believes is some kind of entity or demon, which she simply calls her friend. Family moves in prior to 1961 in a house in uh, Oregon where all supernatural stuff happens. Oh, right, everything supernatural happens there, of course. Uh, she lives with her parents and their family pet, Pico, some kind of bird. As her parents point out, while Dwayne was being drowned in the bathtub, she always was a bit strange. She killed Pico by decapitating him, saying it was a friend who did it. Her imaginary friend was communicating with her through electronic devices, such as radios and TVs. She often told her to do things, bad things, which eventually led her parents to try and get help from doctors. The doctors prescribed medication to her that would be injectable. Her parents disagreed, but did it nonetheless, worsening her condition. Possibly had hallucinations and started seeing her imaginary friend exactly as we saw the player. The Babadook creature speculation. All of this led to her- all this led her to lock herself up in the upstairs bathroom and rip her lower jaw off. <laughs> Great, lovely. So then... Uh, Delirez, the second encounter is Delirez. She and her husband George moved in in 1962 with their baby. Delirez was diagnosed with schizophrenia, possibly before or after moving in. The doctors started giving her medication and her mental issues only worsened. She was now also having episodes of severe dementia, bipolar disorder, anxiety, and paranoia. George was forced to take care of the baby alone because of Delirus's mental state, which was dangerous for him as he heard in the tapes. He would try his best, but Delirus eventually snapped and killed him in the study with seven knives, leaving the body for an unknown amount of time. She then hung herself in front of the baby, leaving him as an orphan. So then... Oh, wait, what? <gasps> Oh! Oh my gosh! Lewis Taylor! The guy whose key card we had? Okay, this part... This part's gonna get a little crazy. Lewis moved in around 1965 and was alone. Not much is known about this character. He worked as an operator at Riversdale Water Treatment Plant. He, he's encountered as Goo Man. The, the donut guy. And is seen in all chapters. He's seen in all chapters? Wait, oh, because the card and stuff. In Lucy's, he appears behind Dwayne in... Wait, what? In Lucy's, he appears behind Dwayne in an inverted arch position as he enters an empty room and is possibly the standing shadow in the upside down living room. In Delaris, he passes from right to left in a narrow concrete corridor. Reckons he points to the psychiatric ward, drugs Dwayne with an unknown syringe, and his footprints and gooish spots are seen on the floor, walls, and ceiling. He also goes after Dwayne in some point. So the goo guy... He was in every part. I thought that meant as Lewis Taylor, because the key card was in, I think, every chapter. Like, the key card or, like, some sort of ID. But apparently... I'm so glad I did not notice him in Lucy's chapter if he was in an inverted arch position. That's like, what's that scary movie where they like bend backwards and their like back is broken in half? <laughs> like a bridge, you know, like when gymnasts do a bridge, it's like that, but like walking. I'm so glad I didn't see that. Um, I didn't see him in Dolores' chapter, so I guess I just didn't pay attention. But I did see him in Raiken's chapter and of course in Dwayne's because he's literally after us in Dwayne's. That's crazy. I didn't piece that together. Okay, so Raiken. He moved in the house in 1970 and was also alone. He developed scopophobia. I don't know what that is. And severe violent paranoia. Constantly saw eyes around his house. Oh, the fear of being watched, I think. Uh, eyes around the house along with gooey apparitions of Lewis Taylor. 
got admitted to the hospital for psychological reasons and eventually jumped out of a window, injuring both of his legs. After a couple breakdowns, he eventually came back to the house only to be locked in a cellar by an unknown man and left for dead. What? Throw house, welcome in. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading, I'm reading like theories. This is, um, Visage's disturbing story explained on Reddit. Because I missed a lot, apparently. I thought the goo man was the same demon from Lucy's chapter, but apparently that's Lewis Taylor, whose ID we had many times in the game. If you've written yourself in a corner, put unknown man and carry on. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. <laughs> Okay, so who is Dwayne? This is a long part. It's the final part of this, but it's long. So Dwayne isn't an angel. In fact, we kind of play as the bad guy of all of this. He worked at a facility named Health Pharmacy since 1952, which makes him at least 51 years old. He murdered his whole family in 1985. That's pretty much all the concrete info on him. So I haven't even realized that he murdered his family. I thought they left. I thought Claire was away on a business trip. When did we find out that he killed them? From this point forward, everything doesn't have any hard evidence to back it up, but it doesn't mean that it isn't true. Isn't that the very first part of the game? Is it? I thought it was... Did I miss the very first part of the game? <laughs> did I murder them at the start? Wait, did I watch that happen? Did I watch that happen? I don't remember this. I This entire time, I thought she was away on a business trip because of the note that was like, your keys, the key to like the garage or whatever is in your pants pocket. I thought Claire was away on a business trip. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot his family and then wakes up and you start the game after. Oh, I didn't piece that together. <laughs> I did not piece that together. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> continuing. Every single person we encounter, except Lewis Taylor, had some mental Ill issues that they had to control with drugs, which didn't really help them in the end. Rick and Dolores even talked directly to Dwayne, saying his name. They seem to know him and what he's done, seemingly punishing him for something he did to them. So that's like the other theory where he was working with the CIA on LSD. <laughs> if Dwayne started working in 1952, it's quite possible that he was the one engineering the drugs or prescribing them for all three characters. Either he made an error or intentionally tampered with the drugs, worsening their symptoms. Or it's possible the drugs just didn't work. That, that's a thing. Um, it's also possible that he was part of an agency making tests on unaware subjects with said drugs, proving Ray can write in the end. A theory I like is that he could have worked in MKUltra. That's, that's the other theory. Yep. It would make sense considering the nature of the experiment, but it would mean that an organization like Health Pharmacy would have been a front. Reichen could have also been fully delusional and thought that an organization was behind the drugs, but only Dwayne was involved. Either way, he caused all the troubles and deaths of the characters, probably including, including Lewis Taylor. During the mask section, Sarah talked about the fact that he had money, and it was probably blood money, favoring the conspiracy agency theory. Oh, uh, was his wife Sarah? I thought it was Claire. Is Claire his daughter? <laughs> Reviews game on Steam. Storytelling too subtle, 1 out of 10. <laughs> no, I, I really liked it. I just apparently can't piece together what happened. <laughs> apparently I just missed the entire first part of the game, but... Oops. Luce Taylor is a hard nut to crack. We see him as an oily black tar man, and his ID card is found in the water treatment plant. This is a theory that I saw a couple of times and it's the only explanation that makes sense so far. During the whole water treatment section, we eventually come across water reservoir with an old well in the middle. Dwayne picks up the apple, which starts to rot and throws it in the well, causing bodies to come up and eventually Lewis Taylor from the well. Is it possible that Dwayne poisoned people by throwing the same drugs or even poison in the water? 
So Lewis probably caught him and he threw him in the water, drowned him, and explains his slimy appearance. Keep in mind that all of this happened before Raiken moved in. Did I win? Um, I got the good ending, so he's back with his family. He's out of purgatory. So I guess I won in a way. <laughs> Dwayne eventually started to drink and abusing drugs, therefore neglecting his wife and kids. His guilt started to set in for all the lives he took, which led him to kill his whole family and then commit suicide. This is where the game begins. Dwayne is stuck in purgatory, or whatever you want to call it, unable to find his family and constantly reminded of his bad choices. Problem is, he's... Amnesiac? Like us, the player, which can be seen in the scene where the Plague Doctor, his guilt and remorse, talks him underneath the bedroom. What does that word mean? A person experiencing a partial or total loss of memory. Okay. Like amnesia. Oh, it is amnesia. <laughs> I think there's a true ending where you need to beat the game multiple times. That's the void ending. I already searched that one up. Um, that's breaking the wall to break- the wall that you break at the very end, you have to break that earlier in the game to get the other ending. Which isn't the good ending, it's the bad ending. <laughs> but you have to try extra hard to get the bad ending, I guess. Um, the fact that he's already dead is quite clear. Was it? Was it quite clear? Was it really that clear? Because I didn't know. <laughs> he literally kills himself at the start. He doesn't have a body. You're a ghost. Just look in a mirror while holding a lighter. Okay, plenty of video games. You can't see yourself in a mirror. And he can... ...himself six times in the basement. Wait, he can kill himself six times in the basement? What? Like, only six times? The quote... When you die is also hinting at this. Your undoing is inevitable. Oh. Uh, Dwayne is already dead, so saying that you died is out of the question. He gets caught by whatever caught him, so he can't progress, therefore he's undoing. His undoing is clearly. Okay. Amnesiac? Thanks. Thanks, uh, pronunciation king. <laughs> Dwayne is also probably the one who locked in Raiken! What? He either discovered his agency or what he did regarding the med, so he decided to silence him. Man, Dwayne is just a bad guy. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get that. Uh, let's look at the ending a bit. He has a body again, like at the start. And he's in a bright light. Oh, I didn't even look to see if he could appear in mirrors. I don't know if there was any mirrors that he could appear in. Family's waiting for him, but they don't really move or wave to him. He extends his arm forward as if to say that he's sorry and immediately gets pulled back before the credits roll. From what I initially thought was a good ending was in fact a nightmarish ending. Oh! Rose said in the first call that she didn't see Dwayne out of the house for three weeks and when he first wakes up after the intro, 23 scratch marks are seen on the floor. Exactly like when you... There's off in the basement. For how long he has been stuck in the loop, forced to fight through his nightmares and eventually rejoin his family only to be dragged... <gasps> oh! So the good ending isn't a good ending because he never makes it. He gets dragged back and has to do it again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I did not get that. I saw the I saw the written out one. And I was like this like a Zamboni joke that I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know that's why that's what my mind went to, but <laughs> Okay, unanswered questions. There's still a lot we don't know. The number three is shown a lot throughout the games. Three knocks on the wall. Three thirty-three on the VHS. Channel three on the TV. Three chapters, chapter items to pick. What's up with Rose? Does she know what's going on, or is she simply in her own mental breakdown? Af Wait, who's Rose though? Calling Dwayne after killing her husband, not knowing he killed his entire family and himself. Wait, Rose killed her husband. 
But who's Rose? There's also a lot of names mentioned that we don't know about, like Johnny, which is one of... which is on the key to Dolores' T. Huh. Interesting. Well, at least I kind of understand the game now. <laughs> Not sure what's up with him as for Johnny. Find out with some more investigating. Ah, uh, you may be aware, but the trophy for finding the pickaxe in the prison videotape is called Gift for Johnny. Also heavily applied in the photographs found around the house that Johnny is one of three children in a family that lived in the house. If you look at the back of some of these photos, you'll see his name. However, he could not have been Dwayne's son, I think. Though he may be Dwayne's grandson. How could he be Dwayne's grandson? Initially, there are only two children's rooms in the house. The other kids in the photo are Michael and a girl whose name is Susan. Where's Johnny? But who's Michael and Susan? All these names! I don't know who any of them are! Oh, Johnny's gift is a reference to The Shining, which would make sense considering the Doom Easter egg. Huh. Well... We finished the game. <laughs> Wait, okay, about the well section with Lewis. I haven't read every comment, so I don't know if it's been said already, but Rose is alive and near door during the whole event. It's a bit of a stretch, but Rose signatures move in them comics is to drink what what? <laughs> what is this sentence? Well, the amount of bodies that dies, maybe Dwayne at some point poisoned the water in the neighborhood, causing Rose to go crazy. Difference between heated argument and killing your husband in a bathtub. A little speculation. Who was Rose? When did Rose come into play, though? Also, why did the, um... Why did the stuff in the kitchen start talking in the Lyricist chapter? <laughs> like, how is that related to anything? <laughs> anyway, I still think, uh... The guy in Lucy's chapter, that demon thing, her friend, I think that was the cause of everything. <laughs> I think my theory was right. Wait, okay, this other person's like, I had a theory I'd like to run by you. Basically, Dwayne did not kill his family, but did obviously kill himself. I think that as you said, he did some bad things involving medication and water poisoning to other characters, Lucy, Dolores, Rose, and probably many others. I think Rose is the neighbor, right? Once he stopped and retired, he started going into a deep into alcohol and medication to the point of addiction as shown during the game. At one point in one of these tapes, we get we got into a cave with a lake and lighthouse, and the tape shows sins or wrongdoings. See the countless people in pain affected by his medication water poisoning. See him in front of the TV, drunk and stuff, then we see him, you know, in the loop. Guess is that his addiction and behavior pushed his family away, so eventually he was left alone in the house. He interpreted that as him killing his family. Because of the lake lighthouse scene, I do believe that he- if he did in fact kill his family, that scene would be on the lake with the others, not only a suicide. Also, when you go into the basement, back into the table and revolver room, it takes- Wait, go to the basement? Table and- table and revolver room? There was a room down there like that? It takes a big focus on the fact that the revolver is full and he's about to kill himself. Reliving his son, unable to face his sins, he gets stuck at the bottom of the well with a fresh apple denying his actions, as opposed to the rotten apple we see at the water treatment plant tape. I believe if he did kill his family prior, the gun would be missing all three bullets. At the end, he did face his sins. 
got tormented by them and is now accepting and moving forward, which is why the ambience is lighter. He finds his family, which are alive but forgiving him, I guess, and he is pushed back because he is dead as opposed to his family, but still free from the house of purgatory. I like this one better. I like the idea that he did not kill his family and that he was released from the purgatory and that his family is still alive. I like that. Yeah, Butters, the kitchen appliances started talking. The fridge, the microwave, the oven, I think a toaster too, maybe? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> one, one crazy drug. Yeah, Rose, I think, was the next door neighbor. Because she called at the beginning. But I don't know why we could hear the call if we weren't alive, which is why I didn't realize I was a ghost. Because we picked up the phone and listened to her. I think. Oh, okay, the original creator of the post is like, everything you said makes sense and everything checks out except one tiny detail that doesn't fit like the rest. The radio at the beginning of the game turns on and a guy explicitly says that Dwayne killed his whole family. It's full of static, but it clearly says that. You could argue with this detail that it's Dwayne's subconscious making him believe that he did that, but well, he only drove them away. Now, the only reason I think he did kill them it said it's a horror game <laughs> unless the creators provide answers it's up to the player to decide what the game is about personally think that he did that and shot himself then he's tormented by his family and stuck in some sort of loop forced to live everything forever theory is just as good as mine it's just that i find mine scarier <laughs> it is scarier to be reliving a loop yep Anyway, time for me to not read that anymore because uh, I don't want to have nightmares. <laughs> but through reading that, we did get past the two hours. And that's what I said I wanted to do, get to two hours. Because I do need to do work. I was thinking about doing House Flipper, but I guess not. If people are interested in House Flipper, though, let me know because I do have the game. And I really like the game. I'm also really good at the game. It's just, it takes me like two hours to do one one house flip, so. We do that tonight, then we'll have, we'll have time. Um, but yeah, so, Tori Pika will save me. Yay, I hope so. If not Pika, I have plenty of other squishmallows and stuff on my bed too. Pichu will prevent nightmares. Yay! How how long can I make Pikachu? <laughs> it's hard to imagine that there was one bigger than this. This was the small one. I wanted the bigger one, but I could not justify the price of it. This is the small one. It said, like, 13 inches? I thought it was gonna be, like, this big. <laughs> I don't know what I thought. The size of it was gonna be. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So we finished Visage finally. I'm gonna freaking uninstall it right after stream. <laughs> so I never have to think about the game again. Um. Yeah, so I guess this is gonna be the end of stream. So thank you everyone for hanging out with me today and keeping me company while I got scared. Um, just a reminder that Friday is New Year's Eve. So please go celebrate however you want, because I will not be streaming. Uh, but remember, if you are celebrating New Year's Eve and you're doing stuff, please be safe because um, COVID is, it's the worst it's been because of the new new variant. So please be careful. COVID is not something you want to get, of course. Um, so like, if you want my recommendation of what to do for New Year's Eve, because I am a queen of never doing any social event because I don't like to leave the comfort of my home. Um, order food or cook food. If you like cooking, cook a lot of food, order food, and just like hang out, watch a movie, play a game maybe. <laughs> like, um, like I get that, you know, 
sucks that things haven't been normal for the past two years and stuff, but hanging out by yourself for one more year is not a bad choice. Especially if you have a lot of yummy food to go with that. Maybe get some drinks if you're into that. But I'm getting yummy food and I'm so excited for the food that I'm gonna get. Like, I just... I keep fantasizing about it! Everything I eat is not living up to my expectations of the food I'm gonna eat on Friday. <laughs> So it's so sad. Um, please, yeah. How do you say that game name? Is it is it like Mahjong? Is do you say it how it looks, <laughs> or is the J supposed to be a Y? <laughs> you think so? Okay. I have a really bad habit of pronouncing J's as Y's. I think I talked about this before. Like jargon, the word jargon. I always say jargon, which like it's not. But I always say that. So every time I see a J in a word, I always have to see, like, ask people. Because I don't know. I just don't know what a J is supposed to mean. Is it an actual J or is it a Y? <laughs> Wide Pikachu is the best Pikachu? Yeah, thanks for hanging out, Cannon Fodder. Wide Pikachu. I think it's a soft J. How do you do a soft J? <laughs> yes, wide Pikachu. <laughs> exactly. J's are wise in so many places. <laughs> but yeah, it is. I, I don't know what game we're going to play next. I'll be back on Sunday, though, with something. I'll figure out something. I've been playing- oh man, I have so many games I want to play. I played Wilder- Wildermyth. I'm trying to play through Edder Wilds and Pathfinder right now. I'm also going through Paper Mario Origami King, and I need to buy, um, Pokemon Pearl, like the new Pearl edition, because I- I love Pearl. And like, I just have so many personal games that I'm playing right now that I don't know, like, what to do for stream games, so if you guys have any recommendations, um, Leave them in the Discord, uh, and I'll, I'll look into them. But yeah, I don't... I don't know really what to play next, so Sunday might be Factory Stream, might be Tekken. Could be Art again, we'll see. I don't know yet what I, what I feel like doing at that point, I guess. You know how I say Jesus, like my special way? Yes. The way I say Jesus is saying I am in French, <laughs> but with a bad French accent, because it's like je suis, but je suis. <laughs> oh, similar to that. Mahjong. Mahjong? Ah, I get it. Okay. My friend's name is... Why did I call him Jordan? <laughs> I... That's his name. That's his name. It's Jordan. <laughs> anyway, I I should go because I need to pee. <laughs> Let me turn music off and see if there's anyone streaming right now. We can go raid. Um, you know what? Lumi Moon sent us a raid on like a week ago. So let's go raid them. They're playing Satisfactory, so if you like Satisfactory, please join in. Um, they are a VTuber. I, I I don't know what what animal they're supposed to be. I think a fox. Oh, wolf. They're a wolf. So please um, join in on the raid. And yeah, I would really appreciate that. So for some reason, my activity feed just went away. But um, please send some sharkies in chat if if you are subscribed, and if not, I really enjoy the squid. Oh, I didn't do socials. That's right. I'm so sorry. Join join my socials, they're down below. <laughs> Julia, have good news with the pizza. Thank you. See you later, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy your New Year's. Have a great end to the year. Eat lots of food. That's 
please eat good food on New Year's Eve. That's all I want you guys to do. Do whatever else you want, but make sure you have a good meal because it's New Year's Eve. You deserve good food. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out. Goodbye. Thank you.